I will fuck every bitch in this fucking place. Oh my god! Be the cool chick, don't be the naggy bitch. We all know what we're out here to do. Am I a cheater here? Okay, the top G, Andrew Tate, is gonna educate us on cheating. This is Base Benji, AKA Big Daddy Benji, AKA Mr. TYB, Mr. Took Your Bitch, past tense, because it already happened and there's nothing you can do about it. Let's get right into the video. So, I was asked very recently by a girl on Twitter. She said, why do men cheat? And I told her the truth about why men cheat. Men cheat because men are biologically programmed to cheat. Men are designed to find as many mates as possible and fuck them because men don't get pregnant, unlike females. You have to understand the biology and the chemistry and the evolutionary process of a female and a male are completely different things. A female has to get pregnant, so if she's gonna be with someone, she has to be attached to that person because if you're pregnant and you haven't got a man to look after you, especially in the olden days, that's a death sentence. You're gonna be pregnant on the streets, no man to look after you, you're gonna literally die. He is correct. From a purely biological evolutionary perspective, women carry the burden of childbirth and pregnancy. So, makes sense that in the physiological brain neurochemistry of a female, it is more likely that they are going to be more emotional and ascribe more emotional value to sex. Whereas men can impregnate tons and tons of women, and that's almost encouraged biologically, evolutionarily, so men don't see sex as big of an investment as women do. So he is definitely speaking facts and I appreciate his evolutionary view on how it works. That doesn't mean that's how it should work in today's society or that women must fill this role. No, that's just how it typically was and what we are primed for. With modern society, it can be different. Things can be different now that things are different. So now that birth controls come in, a lot of people are forgetting the gender roles and everything's become a bit skewed. But the reality of men is, Alpha males, since the dawn of human time, have always had more than one woman. Every king has had more than one woman. Every sheikh had his wife and his hoes and his mistresses. It's normal for men to fuck lots of girls. Society may say otherwise, but it's the truth. Men are biologically programmed to cheat. And society makes it otherwise because society serves to function society for the greater benefit of society. It is very unstable if you have one man who impregnates tons and tons of women and isn't around to take care of or raise his children, then you have a bunch of fatherless children and that leads to its own issues. You can't provide resources for it, et cetera, et cetera, which is why society encourages people to stay monogamous and coupled and to not have sex with multiple people or rather children with multiple people, even though you could make the evolutionary argument that it is counter to it. Neither one is good or bad, it's up to you. However, society does not encourage this because it is to the detriment of society. So when I told her this, she said, that doesn't mean he doesn't love me. Wrong. He does love you. He can love you with all his heart and he can cry his eyes out when you split up and he can be genuine and he can still fuck someone else. A man can love a woman with all his heart and still fuck someone else. A woman can't do this. If a woman's cheating, she doesn't love the man she's with. Whereas a man, completely different scenario. She said, she said, oh, he doesn't love me then, because if he loved me, he'd be faithful. That's actually bullshit. I mean, society's telling women this. If he loves you, he'll be faithful. Nah. He loves you with all his heart. He still fucks other girls. It ain't a big deal. Men are perfectly capable of doing this. I have a woman who I love with all my heart, and I fuck a ton of other girls. He knows it. <laughs> That's just how it is, because I'm a fucking jerk. I don't have to lie about why. <laughs> so, although he's saying it in a very crass way in his normal top G Andrew Tate way. There is some truth to this, right? If men are biologically able to impregnate multiple women, then theoretically he would have the emotional capability to love and want to provide for one woman, yet go have sex with another woman. It's compartmentalized. Men's emotions and women's emotions and the neurochemistry is different. Men produce more testosterone, women produce more estrogen. There's different neurochemistry and physiological hormones that affect the way men and women think. Not that one is better or the other. They're just different. However, what he's saying is that men are wired biologically to ascribe less meaning to sex. So even though you may completely be wholeheartedly in love with your girlfriend, your wife, your significant other, it doesn't mean that when you go and hook up with someone else, another woman, that you don't love your, your significant other or wife. This could just be for fun or a girl who is purely physical, you thought she was attractive and that's it. And she doesn't even compare to your wife or your girlfriend. You may hold your wife or your girlfriend in complete esteem yet go casually hook up with someone else just cause and it's fun. And they're not, they're almost not even the same thing because they satisfy completely different needs. However, the case he's making is that because sex is still sex, right? It has the propensity, the potential to create children 
women are more emotionally invested in it. Women are more emotionally invested in sex. There's a lot more of an emotional connection. Typically, in the olden days at least, they had to feel like the man could provide for them and they had to feel some sort of strong emotion for the man in order to let them have sex with them. Because all of the caveman female wiring and neurochemistry is still the same, he's arguing that women, if they cheat on their husband, it's because they like them to some extent, whereas a man can just go kind of like a girl but not really care about her and just hook up with her and move on and never talk to her again and not care. Whereas he's arguing a female can't do the same because she's biologically wired to do otherwise. And while I typically would agree, I don't think it's impossible. In fact, I think in today's society where sex is very casual for both men and women and women don't have to bear the load of childbirth, a lot of times uh, there's plenty of women who can have sex casually and not think much of it, especially if they've been having a lot of sex. If they've had sex with 20 dudes, then it's probably not as emotional of an investment as it was before. Whereas a girl who's only been with one guy or no guys, it's a huge investment to go and have sex with a man. So although what he's saying is true in the past, I think it's a little bit more complicated now in the modern day, but like I said, we're just cavemen operating, we're monkeys operating in modern technology and modern society. So things are a little messed up and jacked up and I think that's why we see all of this craziness that's erupted with casual sex, etc. similar to what he's saying. So I do think what he's saying is generally correct. We discussed why men cheat. Then she said, well, that means he doesn't love me. That's false, that's a, fa that's a fallacy. Then it's, well, do all men cheat? Well, no, not all men cheat. There's, there's, there's three kinds of men, really. There's a man who's honest about his biology, has you, loves you, and cheats. There's the man who can't cheat because he's a little pussy and can't get any other girls, and he's the most miserable of them all. And there's the man who probably could cheat but doesn't cheat, but in reality, he's still a little bit miserable too. Every man who's honest with himself knows he wants to fuck lots of girls. It's, let's be honest. Let's cut the crap here. Every man knows he wants to fuck lots of girls, but they don't think they're allowed to fuck lots of girls, so they all pretend they're not allowed. Every man wants to fuck lots of chicks. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with fucking lots of chicks. I've discussed since the dawn of human time, men have always fucked lots of chicks. And then she said to me, okay. When I was younger, I thought, oh, people, maybe they want to cheat, maybe they don't, but out of honor and respect to their relationship, they don't. However, the older I've gotten and the more I've learned about male friends of mine or just the more men I've met, especially working in the dating industry over the last half decade, the more I see guys who either want some sort of open relationship where they're able to date outside of it, or I know a lot, a lot, a lot of men, more men than you could possibly imagine, who simply just cheat and never say anything and, you know, sweep it under the rug for, for lack of a better term. And I do think it's because the caveman wiring and biology is there to instinctively want to have sex with as many women as possible and spread your genetics. It just plays out differently in the modern day. Say I agree with you. What should I do about it? This is the kicker. Women, this is what you should do. Find a man, love that man, Understand he's gonna fuck some other pussy sometimes. As long as he only comes home to you, as long as he only loves you, as long as he only spoils you, and now and again he fucks something on the side, don't give him a hard time about it. In fact, it's kind of horny, you know, like when you're when you're next having sex, whatever, just say, you know, talk about the other girl's tits or something. You'll probably come harder than before. It ain't a big deal. Get over it. Stop stressing your guy out because there's no point in leaving a Stop stressing your guy out. <laughs> He just has such a funny and perfect way of saying things. This is what this is why Andrew Tate Top G is blowing up right now because he just has such a specific way of saying things, of communicating a point in a way that's logical and reasonable and can kind of make sense to someone while also being the perfect amount of funny and entertaining and appealing to humor to make it palatable. The reason Andrew Tate is blowing up, even though the red pill and lots of stuff that he's talked about has been talked about for years in the red pill space is because when it was talked about in the red pill space or other guys, it was very angry, repressed, like, oh, women don't listen to me or all. We should be allowed to cheat because we're men and being a man is good enough and blah, 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 blah. They're trying to instill gender roles without fulfilling it. And they try and communicate these things in an overly logical, crass way and in a way that is uptight and seems very jaded and pressed. Like you just seem like you're a pressed red pill dude who's mad that women don't listen to you and you have bad relationships with women. So you're demanding they do all of these things. However, Andrew Tate does it he says similar things in his own way, obviously with his own spin, in a way that is more logical, in a way that appears to more, more reason, and makes a lot more sense and is palatable because he's genuinely hilarious. Andrew Tate is literally funnier than most comedians. Like I don't, I'm not saying that, saying that as a joke. I've known about Andrew Tate since 2019 because he collaborated with some friends of mine in the YouTube space. And when I first came across him, I went, I watched all of his videos and laughed my fucking ass off thinking it was so hilarious the way he said it. And I think this is why he's blowing up because even if you disagree with him, it is just palatable enough 
through entertainment and humor that you keep listening to him and you don't immediately dismiss him. And that is an example of extreme social charisma and insanely high IQ social skills. And that is why he is blowing up. And regardless of whether you agree or not, I have a lot of respect for it. The guy you love, because he fucked someone else, to find some other guy who you don't love who's going to go and fuck someone else anyway. Waste of time. <laughs> find your man, choose your man, stick with your man regardless. Let's, let's run that back. Let's run that back. I'm harder than before. It ain't a big deal. Get over it. Stop stressing your guy out because there is no point in leaving a guy you love because he fucked someone else to find some other guy who you don't love who's going to go and fuck someone else anyway. Waste of time. Find your man, choose your man, stick with your man regardless of whether he's faithful or not because men are not designed to be faithful we're never going to be faithful he's speaking facts here because what he's saying essentially is that if you're a girl and your boyfriend cheats on you let's say he goes and hooks up with a girl casually one night stands with you or once or twice and never talks to her again or you know it's just casual fun it's not like a whole ass other girlfriend or a whole other relationship um and there's no love involved it's purely physical purely just exercise as he says in other videos then what you're essentially doing is you're leaving your man who you love and you are with and you have a great relationship with outside of the cheating um, if that's a problem for the woman to go find and date another guy casually who's seeing other girls anyways and is still cheating because now you're no longer faithful to him and he's no longer faithful to you so you're just leaving one guy who was relatively faithful to you emotionally financially etc and you're just going to go date another guy who's still also dating other girls so you left one guy who's seeing other girls that you actually love and have a deep relationship with for another guy who you have a less deep relationship with and a more service level relationship with to who's still gonna go and date other women so it's kind of like this funny thing where you're damned if you do damned if you don't unless you find a guy who's willing to be 100 faithful monogamous etc if that's what you're gonna go do but if you're gonna go date around casually then what's the difference of just staying with your boyfriend and staying with him and having a real deep relationship whatever you know he made the point i don't need to make it again it's funny and it is kind of fact so People are looking at me saying I'm crazy. I have chill. I can have children. I can have a happy relationship. And I can have a ton of pussy on the side. And everyone gets along fine because my woman knows the fucking score. So if you're a chick, be the cool chick. Don't be the naggy bitch. If you're a dude, we all know what we're out here to do. So just stop fucking lying to yourselves. <laughs> run that back. Run that back. Let's run that back. So if you're a chick, be the cool chick. Don't be the naggy bitch. If you're a dude, be the cool chick. Don't be the naggy bitch. <laughs> If you have a girlfriend, a girl you love, who you treat right, you take care of her, she lives with you, all her stuff is taken care of, she never has to worry, but every once in a while you go and hook up with a girl, you take her on one date, it's not the same. The way a man can show his faithfulness, the way a man can show his loyalty, providing to the girl in a way that he doesn't for anyone else, and providing one date and providing everything else is not even comparable, which is why when you are with a woman you love and really, really care about, but you go see another girl once or twice, it's not really the same, at least from the perspective of the man and the way the biological wiring is set up. At least that's what he's saying. And from my vast experience coaching thousands and thousands or billions of men on base Seuss, I can tell you lots of men think like this and what he's saying has a lot of truth to it. Whether you'd like to be in a monogamous relationship or not, or keep it open or cheat, as he says, whatever. It's up to you and whether it's right or wrong it doesn't matter all that matters is what you want to do in your relationship and how you want to set it up there's no right or wrong way to set up a relationship the reason people are pressured to be in monogamous one-on-one -on -one relationships is because it's what benefits society but what benefits society is not what benefits you these are not the same thing he had a tweet that i got sent this morning that i think <laughs> that i think encapsulates it well if your man cheats on you and it bothers you politely ask him to stop why leave your man and go be a slut? Why be some side piece for a new man who's now cheating on his girl? You've given up first place with a man you love for second place with a man you just met. Where are the lies? He speak is, is, is this facts or is this cap? I mean, I don't have a cap on my head. There's not a cap in sight in here. I don't know. I don't know. When you say it like that, it makes a lot of sense, Top G. When you say it like that, it, it makes a lot of sense. So, you know what? Let, let me put this to the test. Let me ask my female assistant what she thinks about this. I want to ask you something. Is this facts or does this make a little bit of sense to you? Okay, just from a female perspective. If your man cheats on you and it bothers you, politely ask him to stop. Why leave your man and go be a slut? Why be some side piece for a new man who's now cheating on his girl? You've given up first place with a man you love for second place with a man you just met. Does my man still love me? Of course he still loves you. So just, just, just a thumbs up to the camera. I know you're shy. Just a thumbs up. Yes or no. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. <laughs> Case closed. 
Case closed. I didn't say it. I'm not a misogynist, of course. I'm just evaluating what's being said. Uh, I don't even think Top G is a misogynist either, for the record. But when a woman says it and she agrees, if it kind of makes sense, it kind of makes sense, you know? <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Next up, we're gonna react to a couple TikToks, some shorts, reels, whatever you want to call them, because all, all the all the social media platforms are copying each other. We'll react to a couple, see see what else Tate has to say about cheating. In all cheating scenarios, 100% of the blame is always on the female. If your man's cheating, it's because you ain't looking after him right. So stop the confusion. Oh my God, run that back, run that back. 100% of the blame is always on the female. If your man's cheating, it's because you ain't looking after him right. So stop the confusion. <laughs> he does have a little bit of a point that if your partner is cheating on you, I'll drag it out to both men and women. If your partner is cheating on you, it's for two reasons. One, because they're just not designed to be a good partner, male or female, and they should just, you know, whatever. So this is in the context of you agreed upon a monogamous relationship, etc. Or two, because you're not fulfilling their needs, so they go and leave the relationship to go elsewhere. And going back to the caveman wiring biology that we were talking about earlier, I assume Tate's logic here is that if a woman cheats, it is because her emotional needs are not being met in the relationship by her man, by her top G. So she goes and finds out a topper G, a toppest G, to go fill those needs for her. So again, when you say it like that, it makes a little, it makes a little bit of sense. I would stretch it out a little bit because there's plenty of guys who are not fulfilling their girl's needs who I've met. There's been times, listen, there have been times where me and my boys are out, we go out, we meet girls, hanging out with them, you know, things get a little bit of crazy. Let's, let's keep it safe, family friendly for YouTube. And then you see the girl's phone screen and it's her and her boyfriend or you met, you follow her on Instagram and she has a boyfriend. It's like, you had a boyfriend this whole time yet you out here doing this? If, if you, if you need a description of what it is, just look up the song Loyal by Chris Brown and really listen and pay attention to the lyrics. It'll, it'll tell you everything you need to know, but I have lived that experience more times than I can count. So clearly their boyfriends are not living up to their standard. Their boyfriends are not treating their girls right. So that's why they out here with, you know, Big Daddy Benji. But I digress, I digress. My point is this, if I had a woman, I would decide not to cheat because I decide. However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity because female infidelity just involves emotion. You will not sleep with a man you don't like. I can sleep with a woman I don't like. It's a completely different thing. I can be head over heels in love with a woman, ready to die for her, ready to take a bullet for her, protect her, give her all the money in the world, make sure she has a beautiful family, a nice big house, all of it. And I'll still f that bitch. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. He goes and spits a whole thing, right? Controversial, yes. Says it in a logical way that makes sense. And then at the end, he makes it funny. He makes it funny. This is why he's so appealing. And he deserves it, whether you agree with him or not, he deserves to blow up like this because his social IQ, his communication IQ is so high, you, you, you can't not listen to him. You hear his voice come on, you're gonna listen. So let's dive in into what he's actually saying. Again, what he's doing, he's appealing to the point earlier that women typically in the olden days, the caveman biology, is that they are wired to have a strong emotional connection with the men they have sex with because they need that man to protect and provide resources for them in order to raise that child and protect them during childbirth because they're vulnerable. It's a very vulnerable thing to have a child. I don't think this applies to every single female universally. The world's a big place. There's billions of women in it, especially in the modern age where women are conditioned and modern sex dating hookup scene makes it so that people can have sex casually and it's just fine. I've met girls who I've been with and they never hit me up up again <laughs> right it happens to the best of us even big daddy benji it happens to the best of us and clearly because it wasn't all that emotional for them maybe it was a tiny bit emotional but not so much that they cared to be seen again so i do think it's a little bit more complicated than what he's saying but i think generally it is more true than not that a lot of times for women, sex is more emotional. Whereas for men, sex is really not all that emotional. It's more so a physical thing. And providing and loving one woman by providing and protecting, providing resources, etc., is not the same as taking a girl on a date and hooking up with her once. They're not even in the same ballpark. And that's, it. and that's the case he's making. And when he talks about how women involve emotion in their cheating, it's because of the way things were back in the day. So he's really making an evolutionary case. A lot of society's problems come from the fact that we have this old school, 
operating system from the caveman days and we're trying to make sense of it in this new modern world with modern technology. It's why everyone's a slave on their smartphone all day and our dopamine receptors are all fucked because we are not programmed to have all of the world's knowledge on our faces, in our phone, in our pocket 24 seven. And that's why people become lazy, unmotivated and depressed. And we have a whole mental health epidemic because people are stuck on their devices all day and they never go outside and touch grass. So it does have implications beyond gender roles, but I think we've lied to ourselves about how much these things still affect us today and how we really are just operating with the same old school operating system that's millions of years old in a modern society, yet we pretend like we're not. So I think that's why it's so controversial because people are so blinded and so bought into how society functions now without realizing basic realities of how people used to operate. And again, neither is right or wrong. We're all still trying to make sense of it. He's just offering another perspective. A man can only cheat if he loves someone else. If I have a woman who I truly love, and I go out and fuck and I come back to her and I don't care about her and I only love my girl. That's not cheating. That's exercise. <laughs> if she even talks to a dude, it's cheating. He's basically saying the same thing. It's just a more dramatic clipped version of it. It's funny. It's funny. He calls it exercise. You know, it gets your heart rate up. Sex is exercise. So did he lie when he said it's just exercise? You know, when you boil it down, when you make it make it make sense like that. You know, <laughs> say to me all the time, you leave your butt, your top on done. You look like a cheater. I am a motherfucking cheater. I'm a cheater and I'm a liar. And I will fuck every bitch in this fucking place. All y'all. Listen, my girls say to me all the time, you leave Oh my god! Done, you look like a cheater. Cause I am a motherfucking cheater. I'm a cheater and I'm a liar. <laughs> and I will fuck every bitch in this fucking place. You see, he's joking, obviously, but not. But also, am I a cheater? Am I my shirt is unbuttoned? I guess I'm a cheater. I have to go talk to my 10 girlfriends and tell them that I cheated on them. Fuck, me, me, and, me, me and Top G have more in common than I thought. This has been Big Daddy Benji. Make sure you check the links in the description. And we, we, we post it every day here. We're gonna be posting almost every, multiple times a day. Just what you do, just subscribe, turn on post notifications. I got my 10 girlfriends to call. I'll see you guys later. Hey, it's Benjamin. Quick but important message for you. Click the link below and book a free one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me so I can personally take a look at your current dating situation and give you a roadmap to crush your dating goals. Whether it's two to three dates per week with a rotation of top tier women, multiple girlfriends, or just a normal relationship that excites you, I can get you there in just a few weeks. I've helped thousands of guys accomplish insane results like this over the years, and I'm confident I can do the same for you. Like Simon, who went from sleeping with no girls and having zero dates to meeting amazing girls and being able to sleep with three different girls in one week. He even said he went from zero dates per week to five dates in a row back to back. Or Damien, who said after working with me one-on-one, -on -one, he was able to get himself a beautiful girlfriend without having to settle. In fact, he dated over 10 girls before finally choosing her. This way, he was able to choose a girlfriend from a place of abundance rather than scarcity. So if you want my help and direct one-on-one -on -one guidance while you take massive action and crush all your dating goals, like the guys you just saw, then click the button below and book a call. It's 100% free. All you gotta do is apply. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.